In an age where being online seems almost as natural as breathing, having a website is a must for businesses, freelancers, and even hobbyists. Whether you're a blogger wanting to share your travel stories, an entrepreneur looking to showcase your products, or a nonprofit hoping to spread awareness about a cause, a website is often your digital calling card. However, before you can wow visitors with stunning layouts and engaging content, there's a fundamental question that needs answering. Where does my website actually live on the internet? This is where web hosting comes into play. Web hosting makes sure that your website's files are stored on servers, very powerful computers that serve your site's pages and data to visitors worldwide. In this video, we'll explore what web hosting is, how it works, and examine two well-known hosting providers, Hostinger and Bluehost, to help you decide what might be right for you. And just a quick Quick heads up before we dive into the video, if at any point you guys want to try out Bluehost or Hostinger, you can check the links in the description to get yourself the best available discounts as well as an additional 10% off on Hostinger if you use the code SITESTARTERS. So consider that if you guys are interested. Web hosting at its core is a service that allows individuals and organizations to post a website or web page onto the internet. Think of it as renting space in an online neighborhood. You pay a monthly or annual fee to have your website's data stored on a server owned and managed by a hosting company. Whenever someone types in your domain name, like myawesomewebsite.com, their computer sends a request to the hosting provider server. That server then sends back the data needed to display your web pages. It's essentially a relay system, but the critical point is that without web hosting, your site can't go live. You could, in theory, run your own server from home, but it would involve significant technical know-how, consistent power, robust internet connectivity, and around-the-clock monitoring. So most people find it more convenient and reliable to rely on professional hosting companies that maintain these servers on a massive scale. Now, not all hosting plans are created equal. Each plan caters to different sizes and types of websites, so it's important to understand the major categories. Often the most budget-friendly option and a popular choice for beginners, shared hosting places multiple websites on one server. This is cost-effective because everyone shares the server's resources. However, if one site on the server server experiences a massive traffic spike or uses a lot of resources, your site's performance might slow down. With VPS hosting, the server is still shared with other websites, but you get a dedicated portion of that server's resources. It's like renting an apartment in a building. You still share the structure, yet you have your own dedicated space. This makes your site more stable than with basic shared hosting and typically offers better performance. Dedicated hosting is the high-end option where you rent an entire server just for your website. It's perfect for larger sites or businesses that need maximum speed, security, and control. Dedicated hosting can be expensive, but it's unparalleled in terms of performance. And then instead of relying on a single server, cloud hosting leverages a network of interconnected servers. If one server is overloaded or goes down, another steps in immediately, making cloud hosting extremely scalable and reliable. It's a great option for websites that experience fluctuating traffic or need room to grow quickly. When choosing your hosting plan, consider not only your current needs, but also your future growth. A small blog might do fine on shared hosting, while an e-commerce site anticipating thousands of daily visitors would likely need VPS, dedicated, or cloud hosting. And now let's take a look at the first company that we have. So Hostinger has made a name for itself by offering some of the most cost-effective hosting options in the industry. Founded in 2004, the company has grown quickly, garnering attention for its beginner-friendly approach and budget-friendly price points. Their shared hosting plans are especially appealing for people just dipping their toes into the world of website creation. Think personal blogs, small business sites, or portfolio pages. One of Hostinger's key selling points is its user-friendly interface. They have a custom control panel rather than relying entirely on cPanel, which some people find simpler to navigate. Additionally, Hostinger often includes features like a free SSL certificate and a complimentary domain name, depending on the plan you choose. Speed-wise, they've invested in data centers across several continents, which helps ensure quick loading times for site visitors worldwide. However, in some entry-level plans, you might encounter resource limits that could affect performance if your site starts drawing substantial traffic. Customer support is another area where Hostinger generally scores well, offering 24-7 live chat and an extensive knowledge base. But you might occasionally notice a slight delay in response times during peak hours. Overall, for someone on a tight budget or just starting out, Hostinger offers a solid blend of affordability and ease of use. Bluehost is also one of the most recognized names in web hosting partly due to its long-standing endorsements by WordPress. Established in 2003, Bluehost has spent years refining its services and building a reputation.
reputation for reliability. If your website runs on WordPress, Bluehost offers specialized WordPress hosting plans optimized for performance, security, and easy setup. Like Hostinger, Bluehost provides shared hosting, VPS, dedicated hosting, and more. Their interface typically revolves around cPanel, which is a well-known and user-friendly dashboard for those familiar with web hosting basics. One major perk is their customer support. Bluehost offers 24-7 phone support, live chat, and email, so help is never too far away. They also tend to provide free domain names for the first year and free SSL certificates, which is crucial for website security. And while Bluehost is straightforward to use, some people report that the occasional upselling during the checkout process can be a bit off-putting if you're trying to keep your purchase simple. Even so, Bluehost generally meets the needs of small to medium-sized businesses and remains a favorite among people building WordPress sites for its seamless integration and one-click WordPress installation. Now, when deciding between Hostinger and Bluehost, a few key factors come into play pricing, performance, ease of use, support, and reliability. Hostinger usually comes in at a lower cost, especially for its entry-level plans, making it a winner if you're on a tight budget. Bluehost isn't necessarily expensive. Its introductory rates can be quite competitive, but just keep an eye out for those renewal prices. Both provide reliable uptimes and speedy loading times, though performance can fluctuate based on the plan you choose. Hostinger's global data centers can be helpful if your site caters to international visitors, while Bluehost's performance is especially well-tuned for WordPress sites. Hostinger's custom control panel is clean and intuitive, which can be a great thing for newcomers. Bluehost's use of cPanel is equally user-friendly, particularly if you're already familiar with that interface. Additionally, Bluehost's WordPress integration is practically seamless, making it very appealing to WordPress beginners. Both companies also offer 24-7 support via various channels. Hostinger's live chat is quick most of the time, and Bluehost provides phone support, which some customers prefer. Reliability-wise, both companies maintain strong track records with guaranteed uptimes often hovering around 99.9%. And whether you start on a small shared hosting plan or jump straight into a more robust package, both Hostinger and Bluehost allow for smooth upgrades. If your site outgrows the resources of a basic plan, moving to VPS, cloud, or dedicated hosting is generally straightforward. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, consider liking and subscribing. Don't forget about those links in the description as well as the hosting or coupon code site starters for 10% off at checkout. At any rate, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, make sure to take care.